It's 2020, I was gonna make a film every single day, it's like the 13th right now, of selling our shop in Huntington to closing down three of our LLCs to selling everything in our house to living a minimal lifestyle in another area. And rebranding the shop and closing down all projects and getting into real estate. And my wife getting a job. And me being a stay at home dad. New kitchen that I have, it's so much stuff. I don't, I don't even. Uh, one of the more depressing things that is happening is Tanya, my partner of four, three, four years, is moving to Chicago. So everything is just, everything's changing. Everything's done. I'll, I'll go say hi to Tanya. Yeah. And then, so uh, Tanya's moving to Chicago. Uh, coming up <laughs> pretty soon. Uh, Rachel is here. <laughs> I sold our other computer. It, it was there. Now it's it gone. It was there. But the, the truth is, is that I was way over committed to work. I was having a really hard time being present, so I just started multiple businesses over and over and over again. We accomplish a lot and we have a lot of employees. To be honest with you, uh, it's been extremely hard going through this process of purging everything out of our lives that is taking up time that's not giving that value back. Um, it's been hard to design the coffee shop and then to be okay with Courtney not wanting to, to run the shop. Because the original plan um, was, you know, I have this upstairs that I've not renovated yet for like a design studio um, to do films and all this work for our clients and then Courtney was gonna run the shop downstairs and that was gonna be our little life. Small town Martin, Tennessee. Really like it. Um, we have two properties here. We are, it's low risk. It's really easy to like thrive here, but it just didn't work out. And when she told me that she wanted something different and more, I had to become okay with the work that I did with the coffee shop, not, I don't know how to put it really. It's like, it's like giving someone a cat that's allergic to cats, but you didn't know that they were allergic to the cats, right? They were just, they'd found out, or like it's just too much work and it didn't really flow. And the whole purpose of creating something for someone is for them to like enjoy it and have fulfillment in it. So if they don't have that, then kill it or move on. And that's what we're doing. We've automated this shop. It's called Martin's Coffee and Bakery now, and we're gonna go start a new life somewhere else. It's been really difficult. I do not know how to be present and be okay with it. I totally bought into this entrepreneurism hype of working, you know, whatever ungodly amount of hours a week, sacrificing complete relationships and everything in my life. And yeah, we, we got two buildings. I got a coffee shop. I have, I'm a landlord. We have all kinds of stuff and we have some money, not a lot, but we got saved and we have passive income so we can move away. So yeah, there's the pro, but the con is, is it completely damaged all the relationships in my life. So this whole year is about cutting all of the crap, cutting anything that drains my time and really evaluating how much time I really have to give. Um, my goal is to retire in five years. I'm always gonna work, but five years to have $100,000 a year passively coming in through real estate. That's, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'll probably make videos like this on my struggles with that and how to do it. I have no idea what this thing is gonna be, but I have to be more consistent and be more present. And I think that filling your life with lots of things to avoid being present is like the worst thing you can possibly do. And all in the name of entrepreneurism or building a brighter future is no longer an excuse. And it's not an excuse for me. So that's my life. Closed down three of the LLCs, sold our shares to 1822, our shop in Huntington, ended um, a lot of the projects that were gonna become businesses, focusing now only on our three income producing businesses that are really great, which is Martin Martin's, not Martin Coffee House anymore, Fox Weddings and Fernway Fox. Um, that's all we got going on. Courtney wants to get a job. She's gonna get a job. I'm gonna become more of a stay at home dad and my whole life is about to completely be rearranged and changed. That's the update.